At one time, Erica Walker could have been one of the people in the study. The longest six years of my life. Um, the worst, darkest six years of my life. Having lost her brother to cancer and her first baby to SIDS, she became addicted to opioids. Oxycontin was the number one. Walker says the initial high was soon replaced by the need to keep withdrawal at bay to avoid being what many call dope sick. She began dealing opioids so she would always have a supply, but after getting robbed in a drug deal, she was desperate. We decide we're gonna get this money back. He goes to a bank and we, he, he robs the bank. I remember just thinking, like, this is it. I've ruined my life. There's no fixing this. It took a second time robbing a bank before authorities caught Walker and her boyfriend. After getting out of federal prison, she got herself into recovery and applied to college. Now, a dozen years into recovery, she helps people like herself. Come on, pretty girl. Oh. I'm just coming right on up here. Hi, Bobby. Now I'm a therapist. I work um, with families with substance abuse issues. I wouldn't take one day of it back if they offered it to me. It saved my life. The goal is to take what we know from the scientific literature. We'll work to reduce overdose deaths. Dr. Sharon Walsh is the director of the Center on Drug and Alcohol Research at the University of Kentucky. Kentucky was one of four states to receive $87 million from the National Institutes of Health HEAL initiative. From studies, what we know is that Walsh and her team across the state will have four years to meet a daunting challenge. Bring an integrated set of evidence-based practices into communities that have been highly affected by the opioid crisis to reduce opioid overdose deaths by 40% in three years. The focus will be on 16 of Kentucky's hardest hit counties, which will get increased access to medication assisted treatment, overdose prevention training, and education. The reason this matters in Georgia is because if Kentucky and the three other states that received HEAL grants, New York, Ohio, and Massachusetts are successful, it will be a model that could be used here at home. Once we're at the end and we can say this works, then we can tell other communities everywhere how we did it. Here's the map. Here's the map.